Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're here with Annie. We are at the uh, Our Village Rally. We happened to meet and I just fell in love with her rig and her. And so uh, I thought we'd get to meet her and share some of her story with you. Hi Annie. Hi Bob, it's w a pleasure meeting you. Thank you for touring my vehicle. And uh, welcome to the channel. I'm glad uh, people get to know you and, and your rig. Well, you are the reason why I started this venture, my first time out, so solo. You're brand new. I am. And, and you're not planning on going full time? Not right away. I'm not sure if I ever will. I'm just going to see what the next two years holds. Right. So you're still working? I am. Uh, transitioning into part-time retirement. Right. And, and a lot of people are doing that now, yeah. part-time retirement. Mm -hmm. And so you just kind of see the van as a tr taking trips? Yes. Exploring Florida. I've been here. I live uh, cent north central Florida near Ocala. And I haven't seen too much of Florida because of my work and learning about my van uh, because I just purchased it three months ago. And this two-hour drive here was my first big drive. Oh, wow. But I'm loving it. Sometimes I give the impression that it has to be all or nothing. You have to mm -hmm. do this here with your whole life. But yeah. if you just add a little bit of nomadic living, I think your life will be far better. And, I think so, too. And that's probably what you're seeing now. Are you kind of relaxing and enjoying this time? Relaxing, enjoying it. And I like this first venture because there's a lot of people around me. It mm -hmm. makes me more comfortable. I don't want to go boondocking right away. Uh, maybe next month I might find a place to do it. And that's a great way to ease into it. Mm -hmm. Have the van and just, you know, trips and makes life better. You have nothing, everything to gain and nothing to lose. That's right. So tell us a little bit about your van. Okay, so I purchased it in November. I found it a mile and a half away from my home. After looking at, this was a third van I looked at. And um, it's a Ford Econoline E350 extended version with a turtle top and I'm still trying to figure out a name for her. Mm -hmm. Since it's a turtle, I could do Myrtle, a couple <laughs> other ideas floating in my head. Um, it has 191000 on it. I paid $3,000 for it. That is a screaming, screaming deal. <laughs> it yeah. really is. When I saw it, it looked pretty rough on the inside because they didn't take a lot of time cleaning it, but I could see the potential, the po possibilities in it. And you spent a lot of time uh, cleaning since then. I have, <laughs> mainly cleaning. I did replace the vent on the roof and fix the leak, leak, which was under the air conditioner. It's a beauty, as you'll Thank see you. when we get to move, looking around. It's a beauty. Thank you. And you've really done an amazing job on the inside. If it was rough before, it looks great now. Mm -hmm. um, I really didn't. Um, I did pull out this kitchen sink, the refrigerator, and the counter. Um, it was nasty. So I pulled that out. I figured I really didn't want to sink right away anyway. And the refrigerator was, uh, the compressor was out. So um, baby steps. And at this point in your life, you're just taking trips. I am. And so you don't really have to have any of those things. Not really. This was a four day trip. So I came with two and a half gallons of water, a wash basin, you know, the necessities. Um, and plenty of room. I have so much storage, I didn't even have stuff to fill it with. <laughs> That's a nice problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, great. Let's, uh, would you mind if we took a look around inside and I'm see I'm happy what you've to done? show it to you. Okay. I'm very proud. Thank you. So I just want to say I did pull out a lot of the wood interior and sanded it and uh, refinished it, mm -hmm. stained and polyurethane it. So all, everything on the exterior doors I pulled out, all the wood uh, cabinetry inside I left it. The doors had a little bit of issue because of the rain and weather. So it is fully shaded, as you can see. Yeah. I've got some large windows, they do have pull downs. Made everything inside I took out of my house and I wanted it to feel like home. Right. So my curtains, I had those, I cut them, hemmed them, got an extension rod, which just fits on there. And chest holds my blankets, my bathrobe, my uh, slippers. And as you can see there, that is my wash basin, my right. kitchen. Right. So rather than the standard, you know, sink where you got the hand pump, if I want to do any dishes, I just pour in some water. I do have another method of cleaning, but um, and that's with vinegar and water. Just spray something down, wipe it down, because vinegar is a natural disinfectant. So these do all light up. I have little LEDs under here and on, you know, some of the running uh, things here. But pulled out stuff from my bathroom, from my living room. Nothing in here was purchased except for my um, Le Tole. The beds fold into a full size. I found a full size sheet for a buck. 
because I have a queen bed at home. So um, folds out into a bed pretty easily. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's very easily. Mm -hmm. And lots of cabinet space. Um, I have my solar generator outside, which you'll probably take a peek at later. Mm -hmm. But I do have a 750 watt inverter up here, as well as a um, 12 volt battery in the back that I can just clamp onto and um, run some of my higher appliances when the battery is charged right. and working well. And you're just charging it while you drive. Not this one. I'm not hooked up that way. Oh. I, I think I need to figure that out. But that's how you're charging your solar generator? Yes. Right. Uh, uh, no, I'm charging it with the sun, but you can charge it through the 12 volt or AC uh, 120 through the house. Right. So I do have three ways of charging it. And I have that secondary battery under the hood. Right. It yeah. came with that. I it imagine did. Yeah. when they did the conversion. Mm -hmm. So it's just really comfortable, pleasant place to spend time. Right, I wanted it to feel at home. And, um, you know, that's why I brought in all my little decorative items. Uh, I do keep my clothes up here, but I'm gonna rethink that because when I open it at once, they wanna fall out. Right, yeah, that's kind of an angled outward. It that's is. unusual. And I do have um, some bins at home that I can use for my clothes. I was very fortunate because air conditioner and heater unit does work. And so this is your little kitchen up here? You know, basically, yes, it's my kitchen. If I do need to wash, um, I have the pan. I've got my Dr. Bronner soap. And one, one thing your viewers should do is always have a biodegradable, uh, eco-friendly soap. And so I brought that along, as long as my vinegar and water. And this is just an easy spray on silverware and whatever. My kitchen is actually up above this curtain. And you know, this is just my first four nights out ever. So I've got some little stuff. I'll probably eventually get a propane stove or something similar, but this is just a little 200 watt rice cooker. And it's not just good for rice. I mean, I've been heating my water for my coffee. You can heat soup. You can heat anything really that's in a can. It comes with a little uh, removable so I can pour the hot water into a cup and make my coffee. So I have that, and then the second thing I have is this little um, fry Are these pan. Are This this is um, no, no. These no. plug into my sol This plugs into my solar generator, mm -hmm. 200 watts, because my solar general generators, uh, my power station is 500 watts. This will have to plug into my 750 watt inverter. It's actually 600 watts, but I can fry up eggs in it. So up here, these here I really like. It's my um, stainless steel pans, I mean uh, plates. Uh, this could be either for cocktails or just cold water. And then I have another uh, one for hot water. So basically that's my kitchen with the exception of here. I keep my paper towels. I have a little immersion heater for hot water also. And if I want to do some clothes, I have clothesline and clothes pins, little solar weather radio for emergencies. And my 12 volt, I highly recommend this too, duo fan, oh, 12 yeah. volt. A friend of mine gave me the little 12 volt cooler, which plugs into my cigarette lighter. It's not huge, but it holds like eight bottles of water. I could put yogurt in it, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. This is really the only thing I bought was these uh, four bins from the Dollar Tree. And this is my makeup and hygiene area. Mm -hmm. So four bucks. They say to have a dedicated spot for your keys at night. Mm -hmm. Always put them in the same place. And this is one reason why I bought the van is because if I did feel uneasy, uncomfortable, didn't like the spot, all I have to do, grab my keys, hop up front and leave. Under the seats is really my garage. I have my toolbox, my power screwdriver, uh, my battery charging cables, my toe strap, my tire inflator. That's probably a 100 watt panel? It is a 100 watt panel. Mm -hmm. uh, the system is from Rock Pals. The panel only weighs seven pounds and it Those folds nice. up. It's like an inch wide. Right. Very nice. And um, the Rock Pals I got just before Christmas for 350, normally a dollar a watt. So it was a five, like let's say a 500 uh, dollar, 500 watt power station. Including the station and the panel? 350 for the station, about 150 for the panel. Uh huh. So about 500. You know, I'm a basket lady. I've been collecting them for uh, like 20 years. I almost garage sale these before I thought I was gonna get into van life. And so I just decided to make this my grocery basket. 
I have sterno and the sterno holder in here and other kitchen necessities, aluminum foil, um, stuff like that, my rain gear here. Uh, this basket is just my, um, like catch-all. I have mm -hmm. a solar light. I've got everything I want to clean my uh, van with in my spare time, duct tape, bungee cords off. This is my books and magazines for when I have that downtime. Mm -hmm. And uh, my electronics basket. This is um, games. <laughs> Gotta have games if you meet people. And then my craft basket. Uh, the gate to stop stuff from rolling forward when I, I'm driving. Mm -hmm. And then my lay tole is right there. Mm -hmm. And next to that, I have, um, I like to call it a stool and a table, although it could be two tables. Also, it's got a nice little curtain that I can unhook there with a the Velcro and pull it across. Brought this, you know, got to have your plants. Got to have plants, yeah. <laughs> and I, I think they're liking it here. <laughs> my 30 amp hookup. All the uh, wood up here I took off and I decided to paint it black because uh, it matches the interior really good. There's two things I want to show you, and one is the uh, battery disconnect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, less than $7 on Amazon. And I quickly learned, because I ran the battery down twice, that if I leave the doors open for an extended period of time, as I did one day, five and a half hours cleaning on it, ran my battery down. So I heard about this nice little disconnect, you, all you do is unscrew it. You don't even have to unscrew it all the way. If you unscrew it, st st it stops the power in the van. I can't even start it. All the running lights go off, the back lights go off. I can leave the d doors open all day and not lose any power. And then to start the van, I just turn it on and I'm good to go. And the other thing I would highly recommend to everybody, it's a Jayco uh, electron, electron electronic power pressure gauge. So whenever you head out on your trip, always check your tire pressure as I did this morning. $28 on Amazon, highly recommend. So the one question we have not answered and everyone wants to know is how are you showering and cleaning yourself? Okay, um, well, we already talked about the Le Tole, but I would right. like to recommend the Shiwi for the ladies. And it's just a little silicone uh, ur urina urination device. And you just put it between your legs, put it into a bottle or a plastic bottle, anything with a lid, and you can do your business that way. And then my Le Tole in the back, thanks to Casey Roman, that's her term. Um, that's just emergency. And then as far as cleaning up, well, I'll eventually get one of those solar shower uh, uh, bags mm -hmm. that you can hook on your uh, van and it'll warm up and you can just take a quick shower that way. As far as uh, washing up, I do have the bin inside. I can throw some water in. I have soap. I've got all my cleansers. I do have a lot of wet wipes. Oh, and I do use an app, Life360. My sister is connected with me. She can see wherever I travel. Well, Annie, thank you so much for sharing your home and your experience with us. I just encourage people to do what you're doing, take baby steps, and uh, learn this life while you're getting ready for retirement. Thank you. Um, it's been a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Wells. <laughs> and I would just say, you know, give it a try. Take the baby steps like Bob said. And um, don't be afraid because life is too short to be scared all the time. And um, you know, if you want an affordable way to travel, um, van life is great. Mm -hmm.